Well, I'm joined here at half time at the World Cup interview with a fellow I would call a great mate and certainly a great rider, the reigning Australian show jumping champion, defended twice now at Werribee. Welcome, Dave Cameron. Hey, Martin, how are you going, mate? And I'm going well. Um, going well, but perhaps a little bit better than yourself. You're, uh, you're supposed to be out here show jumping, competing for this World Cup, chasing points for your own campaign towards Europe, but you've had one heck of an injury. What's actually happened to you? Yeah, man, I had an um, a, a early Christmas holiday. I uh, missed the last couple of shows of the season. I had a fall just in, in training at home, nothing much. Just all stumbled in the arena and you know, tipping over. I mean, I broke a few bones in my pelvis, but everything's sort of coming pretty good. I was, uh, it's about five weeks now and it's getting better, and I think uh, mid-January I'll be back in the saddle. Jerry, back in the saddle, but I just don't want to go dwelling too much on your injury, but it's quite serious. The, the muscle actually came off the bone, didn't it? <laughs> Did, Martin. Always sounds worse when you say it, but no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tore the adductor off the bone and um, yeah, they, they decided they wouldn't operate on it and we'll just leave it as it is. I reckon that's the best chance for recovery because I want to be back early so I can have a good, um, you know, keep the plan in process of going to Europe in, in February with the horses and um, yeah, so I'm, uh, yeah, it, it's all going well right into rehab and yeah, I feel pretty good, mate. I'm young and fit so I'll come back pretty quick. Young, fit and uh, and had a great season with the, the mayor there, R.R. R. Diamanto, owned by the Martin family from New South Wales. Won a couple of World Cups in the top five standings in the present league and then this and happens happen just touching on that you were talking about you have a campaign of going forward with the concept of of going into Europe to, to do some campaigning there with, with a view to pushing for Rio. My understanding is that uh, right about as a May cutoff next year where eight combinations will be nominated to compete for the four spots for Australia. Is that how you understand it too? Yeah, that's how I understand it. The selection criteria only came out um, during the week, but yeah, like she's, she's done plenty. We want to give the mayor the chance to, to go to the next level and um, and take her over there and, and you know try to go to some big shows and just see how we go. Now, I know that you were based recently in Europe with uh, Jamie Kerman, Jamie winning, and you saw the requirements for this five-star level. Your heart of hearts, how's this mayor going to perform at that level? Oh look, uh, you know we've gone over the last couple of years uh, and, and and you know stayed a couple of weeks with, with Jamie and Jamie and gone to some shows and um, it's been a really good educational experience for us. Um, you know, looking forward to taking her. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to start her off steady in in some you know one forties and stuff and then try to build up and go from there. She's a good mare. She tries really hard. Like I've always said, she um, she's a fighter, and, and you know I just want to give her a chance. I think she might surprise a few people. Mm. But just just the irony of this whole thing—you were going so well, and then this injury comes out of the blue. But we're actually with an Anwen Keeling uh, picture, uh, which I believe was presented to you earlier. Can you explain what we're looking at here, and and, and why so? Well, there's a great prize here, uh, Sydney um, Summer Classic World Cup. You know, the, the part of the prize you get a painting uh, portrait of yourself from a, a photo that someone's taken at the show. Uh, Anna McKeeling, of course, donates the, the painting. He's a fantastic artist. Mm. Um, you know, very lucky to win this. As I said before, it's sort of it's great to win it second year. It makes it last a bit longer the win. Uh, and as I said, like, last year was one of my best wins of my career. You know, she had double clear here and. Um, and you know, it was a great win, and, and, and now I get to have this as a memorabilia for it. And, you know, having Anwen donate is, is, is fantastic. We're very lucky to have such a great prize. Now, Anwen, I know, who's, who's uh, actually I see her riding on a few of your homebred Clydesdales in the past, and she's a character of a lady, but very talented, has a, a gallery um, of, of paintings, you know, from time to time in the, in, the, in the big shots in Sydney. But you know what, Dave? I do know that she's quite famous for painting nudes. And, I, and I'm wondering, with this downtime as Anwen approached you to make use of your time with any of, of that nature. You're right man, she's a very very good artist but um, no she discussed it and said you know you, you can have any portrait done like what would you like and <laughs> no, we decided me and the horse was a much better look. Right. But I, I can't let you go without asking um, because one of your many talents and uh, with a wonderful coach and rider and uh, the very top end but you're also a stunt rider and in recent time um, our friend there Johnny Depp got into a lot of trouble with dogs in quarantine and Jack Sparrow on the Pirates of the Caribbean set. But you were there. What's it like working with, with Johnny Depp? Uh, it, was good. it was really good fun, Martin. Look, I, I fell into the, the stunt riding thing. Uh, just someone rang me a few years ago, Graham Ware, who does a lot of the horses in movies in Australia and TV shows. And you know, I did a couple of shows with him and then it's just sort of gone from there. And yeah, the, the highlight was 
Pirates of the Caribbean this year and, and Johnny Depp was a very interesting guy to, car- to work with. He's, he's uh, in character the whole time as Jack Sparrow. And in Jack's character the whole time? The whole time. And, Even at the coffee earth? Yeah, no, mate, the whole time. And Jack Sparrow is a pretty, pretty wild, wild character. So, you know, it was it was a good experience. Great fun. I spent all February there and yeah, it was awesome. So, no, good fun. Great work. Well, look, I just wish you speedy recovery. Um, let's not go without just talking quickly about some of this um, show jumping we've seen this afternoon. D- two clears. Um, Stephen Hill, good clear with uh, Bellini Star and the ever improving Crystalline. How is this going to pan out? Oh, look, it's a great class. Um, you know, the two clear rounds with the, with the mares, you know, arguably two of the best horses in the country. They jumped amazing. They're you know, so very, very good horses. I've got a lot of time for um, Stevie Hill's horse, Bellini Star. It, it, it went second here last year. Do you know the age of Bellini Star? I think she must be uh, eight, I think. Not old. Yeah, no, she's not, not that old. Not old no. I think that last year, I think it might have been a second or third World Cup mm-hmm. here this time last year. Um, yeah, but she's really matured and she looks fantastic. She's a, and, and Stevie's doing a bloody good job riding her. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I think that's a serious horse. But the interesting thing about this class, the second round is probably tougher than the first. Yep. You know, most, most World Cups, you get a bit of a lead up in the second round, but not here. Mm-hmm. Leopoldo makes you work really hard for it. And, you know, I think a lot of horses go jump well the first round, but can't back it up. But I, I think that mare will. I think you know, Stevie's got the experience from last year, and yep. I think if I was a betting man, I'd, 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 I'd have a, a punch. Bellini Star above Crystalline. You have heard it here, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it from the horse's mouth. Um, great to catch up. Please recover quickly. Get back on that horse, and good luck for next year. Uh, until next time, on the Equestrian Channel, we will catch up with Dave Cameron again. But a good all-round bloke, and. Uh, his tip for this afternoon, Stephen Hill and Yolambi's Bellini Star.